thanks for joining me today on another photo walk. I'm at the Meadowlog Gardens here in Northern Virginia. And um, I brought with me the Olympus Pen F with the 15 millimeter body cap lens. Now this lens, you know, it gets a lot of mixed reviews. Some people say it's fine for the price you pay. I paid like 30 bucks. And uh, others say it just sucks, don't buy it. But you know, my opinion is for 30 bucks, I'm kind of in the prior uh, opinion of for 30 bucks, it's not bad, right? You don't want to pixel peep. But um, anyhow, basically it's a 15 millimeter uh, at f8, and it's an equivalent to 30 millimeter full frame uh, f16 if you want to consider depth of field. But you know, these wide angle lenses don't have any depth of field. And I found that, you know, it has some basic uh, focus settings. There's sort of a normal focus setting here with a little dot. Then there's infinity, which is all the way over here. And then you can back it off for close-up focusing. And it says uh, it'll do 0.3 meters close-up focusing, so you can adjust it that way. Now I found when I set it to the normal setting, it's just a little bit off. It's not quite as focused as I would like. Um, so what I do is I just nudge it just a little bit past the, the normal setting here where the dot is towards infinity. And what I do is I, uh, I punch in with the magnify button just to confirm. So a lot of the shots here I will be doing using the magnify feature to uh, figure out if I've acquired the best focus this lens is capable of. Um, now focus peaking doesn't work that great on this lens because it's not a tack sharp lens. And normally focus peaking works really well when you have a very sharp lens. But with this lens, focus peaking is going to be unreliable. So I always do magnify uh, on what I want to focus on just to double check. I like this scene right here. We have some little ferns down in here, and then a bench and this giant tree, and then this other tree kind of wiggling its way around these other plants. Uh, and there's really only two colors here, right? Green and brown. So I may do a black and white because there's not any color to mess with anyway. I think from this distance I'll be okay. No, I need to get closer. Okay, getting closer helps a little bit. I like framing of this tree in the right. I got a little bit of this tree, but the brush here. We'll get a little bit lower because I like the way the lines lead in from the right into the frame. I wish there was something more interesting here, but we'll work with this. There's a turtle over here. Oh, it saw me. Dang it. And I like the reflection of this one tree into the water. But I don't think, I think I'm, uh, the 15 is going to be too wide for that. Let's see how this looks. Yeah. Definitely we can go. I got a really nice shot of this in the winter time when I had the 50 millimeter lens. I think it was a 50. Let me get a little closer. I want to try and get a little less sky in the scene. Yeah, that's that's a little better. Question is, do I use the trees on the far left and right to frame the trees in the center? Some lovely flowers over here. Hmm. These are a little bit too far back. I think I'll try right over there where Davis getting some shots. I can get a line of flowers coming in. Yeah, I like. I like this little bit of line leading to another group back here. 
if I come up closer. Do a rule of odds, get these three. Nah. I think I'll stick with this. Ooh, I like the reflections of the trees over here. Yeah, the gazebo is more prominent from this side. I got the, my favorite trees over here. So the question is, do I frame this this tree or this little bit of leaves? Ah, that's a mess. I'm gonna try and frame it this way. You may have noticed the lighting has changed quite a bit and really all I did is I went out and I had some breakfast with the photo club and came back and the lighting changed quite a bit. I thought it would still be cloudy and gray, but it's not. My goodness, we got blue skies. The clouds are a little bit high up, so that's not gonna, that's not really helping me with the landscapes. I, I like low puffy clouds, <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's see what we can do. Let's go over to the other side here and see what we can do with this uh, 15 millimeter pancake lens or body cap lens. Very nice. And the water is smooth as silk here. I love it. I have a couple of options. There's some tall grass right here. So if I get down low and frame up or just stay eye level. So we'll take a look both ways. Take off my sunglasses, can't see anything. All right, this is okay. The bridge is a little bit small in the frame. I mean, it's only this much. Uh, so I don't think it's gonna matter even if I get down low at this point. Actually, this grass does help frame it a little better. Let's go ahead and try a shot from down low. Yeah, something in here. And then I'll punch in the nail focus best I can. All right. Now we're in range where I think this bridge will uh, make more sense. Uh, oh, there's a piece of paper in the water. I don't like that. Let's... um. Let's see if I can move over, see how much more this bridge fills in the frame, and if I can work in the stream to kind of lead up to it. I'm actually a little bit too close now. I can back up maybe a meter. I like the, the way the shadows are hitting down here on the bottom. Nice little uh, repeating lines pattern. These always make good black and whites, right? Let's see how I can compose this. Maybe I need to get a little closer. I wonder if I can work in the verticals too. Let's get, let's get inside the bridge. Ah, I need to get in a lot closer. I don't know about this tree and this uh, rocky. I'm gonna have a line coming down into the corner. How about me in the shot? Yeah, I'll do. I, I think this will work actually. I like these, uh, I don't know what these are, these purple flowers kind of surrounding this one tree and this tree itself is very uh, cool with lots of uh, bendy branches and things. My only problem with this scene is behind the tree is kind of messing up the composition. And I'm always conscious of what's, you know, behind 
whatever subject it is I'm taking. And, and in this case, I'm not happy with what's in the background. Because uh, if I were to try to take a picture, the background just doesn't provide a nice backdrop for it. And with this lens, I can't blur out the background uh, because I'm like an F8. So I'm gonna have to get a lot closer. So let me try that. And sometimes when I'm moving up closer, I see other compositions. Like right now, I like the way these uh, three branches go up. But when I'm this close, this uh, <laughs> bunch of flowers here are all separated now, so they're not going to be very dominant in the image as a nice foreground. Maybe, maybe from this side. But then I'll lose these three. Actually, I like these branches here, the way they're just hanging down. Let me, let me see what I can do right here. Because even though the background in this case is not great, if I get down lower, I can put these branches in the sky, all kind of pointing down into the uh, landscape. But yeah, you see the branches hanging down now are not that great. But if I get lower, I think maybe a vertical. Because now we have kind of a curve on the landscape. And then these are kind of just falling into the landscape. And then we got some flowers down here. Okay, we're coming up on some kind of Korean thing here over here. Uh, I like this right here. Let's um, let's get a shot here. Yeah, we'll do a vertical. Can I frame this in a horizontal? Maybe. But I like the vertical too. Just come down a little lower. Make the structure higher up in the frame. Let's do that. I tried to get a picture of this last time I was here with the 17 millimeter. So I'm going to do this now. And it came out okay. I'm going to do this now with the 15 millimeter. Okay, I think what I'll do, I'm going to bracket the shots because the dynamic range here between the bright and the dark is really strong. So I'm going to do uh, three frames, plus or minus two EV. That should be enough. And I dialed in a plus seven EV uh, because I'm more concerned about the shadows in this image than I am the highlights. Because the highlights, it's nothing but, you know, very high clouds that are very smooth. So they're not very interesting. 